So what's new in toys? Uh, what's new in toys, Candace? Really, I love what's going on with Lego right now. Lego has the new Mindstorms, uh, and this is like a really fun way for kids to learn programming and robotics in a in a way that's really fun and educational at the same time. Like you're combining the versatility of Lego building and everything that you're known they're known for with that with programming technology that's really easy for kids to create all types of different robots as you see here all different types all different sizes and then you can use mobile apps like the free ev3 programmer to control it to manage it you can even use the included remote that they have with it as well and uh, you can even do like some of these very challenging ready-made missions that you can do with you and your friends so not only are you really uh, having fun with a toy but you're also learning the foundation of coding technology and mathematics and engineering, which is really awesome. And what's something cool you're seeing in smartphones? Um, smartphones are really, I love what Motorola, I don't know if you've seen this yet, but check out what Motorola is doing uh, with smartphones. They have something called Moto Mods, and these Moto Mods can transform any Moto Z family phone into a completely different device, which is awesome. You can take, for example, this particular mod right here, which is going to turn your phone into an advanced digital camera. I'm talking giving you 10 times optical zoom with the uh, Hasselblad True Zoom. You can also turn it into a projector with the Moto InstaShare projector, which is great. You can even get that party going with better quality sound with the JBL Sound Boost Moto Mod that clicks right to the back. And you can even get up to 22 hours of battery life, additional 22 hours of battery life with the Incipio Off-Grid Power Pack just by snapping this mod right onto the back of your Moto Z phone. So go to motomods.com to find out more, but I love how they're transforming what one device is just known to do to turn it into multiple devices with easy attachments. Definitely, and how about tech that brings home comfort? Uh, tech to bring home comfort, two things for that. The first one is kind of obvious, like room temperature, getting the house at a comfortable level, but also giving you ways to control it so that you can manage your electricity and manage the bills better. So this is the LG Art Cool Premier, and this is a duct-free, single-zone air conditioning system. Lots of style with this, as you can see, lots of power uh, as well. Great solution for any room of the house to make it cool or hot. Um, and what I like about it too is that it features low ambient heating, which means it's, it's, it's been tested. Like they put this thing to the test to make sure that it could still power and give you that performance in negative 13 degree Fahrenheit. So it really works phenomenally well and it's very powerful. And you can control it from a smart app. You can control it right from your phone with the connection to LG Smart AC app, which is great. Also in the home, uh, sleeping is a big thing. Many people know I'm into meditation, um, I'm into getting good rest. Even though I'm on the go and hustle a lot, I try to really get quality sleep. So I bought a Sleep Number bed, my wife and I did about 10 years ago. Sleep Number has come out with a new bed. It's called the IT bed, IT, that's it, the IT bed. And it is the smartest smart bed that's available right now that is all about uh, using technology to improve your sleep quality. So what's really cool is that you can actually adjust the comfort level that you want on your side of the bed because it has these foam filled air chambers that you can adjust the firmness of your mattress. And then you can also track everything through the technology on your mobile devices. You can see how well you slept, how well you didn't sleep, did you toss and turn a lot. Like it really helps you understand how you can get better rest so that you can feel better uh, when you wake up. Not only that, they've also connected it to fitness apps and devices. So if you have a Fitbit or the uh, Nest Learning Thermostat, or if you use software like uh, the app like Map My Run, which I use for biking, I can now connect all of that even with my smart bed to give me a better picture of my entire sleep quality and health performance. And they can ship the smart bed right to your door, which is awesome. So head on over to itbed.com for more on that. And how can we all keep our passwords safe this fall? Um, so this is a big deal. Keeping your passwords safe. People don't remember passwords. No. Like, <laughs> they just don't. Like, I've used, I've been given the um, advice for years to use pass phrases. That way, if you can spell out a s several words, but have 
an a, a initial or a number or a character or a symbol that reflects that phrase, it's easier to remember and it increases the length of the actual uh, password. Because you want to have at least eight, but really you want to have 12 characters if you really can. So a lot of times we can't remember all of that. So the best way to protect all of your digital aspects of all your mobile stuff and technology, if you're worried about virus protection, passwords, mobile security, and secure cloud storage, you, you really need to look at getting the McAfee LiveSafe. McAfee LiveSafe is software. It's a yearly subscription that will keep your entire family covered and protected on all their popular devices. So it's really great for parents to get that peace of mind to know that you're going to have that protection. What's really cool and innovative is what Intel has done inside of this software. You can actually use your fingerprint or your facial recognition to unlock websites and sign in on different apps. You don't have to remember passwords anymore. You can just simply use your thumb, your fingerprint or your face uh, to log in, which is great. And that's all because Intel Security has created something called True Key. I've actually tested this and it's pretty awesome to see how this works. And then I've had my kid try to log into the same stuff and he couldn't. So it really works well and uh, I think it's kind of innovative to use a lot of that technology to, to help you not have to remember passwords, but give you easy access to log in. So if you want to find out more about that, just go over to intel.com. Well, thanks so much, Mara. Where can we go for more information on everything you mentioned? Uh, I would say two things. Uh, one is our website, which is killerapps.tv, killerapps.tv. And if you have a question for me directly, you can find me on Twitter and Facebook at Mario Armstrong. Well, thank you as always, Mara. I really appreciate it. Have a great weekend. Hey, you! I just realized that it is weekend time, and I'm so excited about that. So, yes, thank you, and you do the same. <laughs> and you're done for the day, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm out of here. See ya. All righty. Talk to you later. All right. Goodbye. Thanks.